much for even joining us on this Monday. Well, the Democratic National Convention is underway in Chicago. The first opportunity for the party to explain why the American people should vote for Kamala Harris on the presidential ticket. Harris became the party candidate, of course, after President Biden dropped out of the race last month and endorsed her. 2822 News I team reporter Randy Mahalshik has been working in this story. Andy joins us live from the local election headquarters. Andy. Well, good afternoon, Nick and Julie. Democratic party leaders tell me and insist that Kamala Harris is the right person to be president and they'll present their case to the American people this week. And they know that every moment in this convention is crucial because the race between Harris and former President Trump is indeed very tight. When you know what you stand for, you know what to fight for. It's time for Vice President Kamala Harris to write her own story, her own plan for the future of the United States. That's what Democratic Party leaders are telling 2822 News. And this week, she and her supporters will get that chance at the Democratic National Convention now underway in Chicago. I spoke to Todd Egan from Lackawanna County, who is a member of the Democratic National Committee and is in Chicago at that convention. You could just feel the energy uh, in, in the delegates, and then there's a lot of, you know, I, I read there's 40,000 guests out here. So it's, it's not only the delegates, but it's, it's the Democratic volunteers. There's a lot of excitement in there. Oh, it is good to be back in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Egan believes Harris has reinvigorated the Democratic Party and beyond. Her candidacy, I, I think, has really lit a fire um, under the Democratic base, and in turn, I think it is translating uh, with the with the mainstream voters on, on both sides of the aisle. Recent polls show Harris and former President Donald Trump in a neck-to-neck -neck race. I spoke exclusively one-on-one -on -one with the former president at a rally he held near Wilkesbury on Saturday. It seems like almost every day. You or uh, Vice President Harris are, are in the lead, still too close to call. Uh, what's your take on that? Why do you think that's happening? Well, I think we're leading, and we just had some very good polls today. We had Rasmussen where we're up five or six points. We have uh, other polls, and we have internal polls that have been very good. But we're leading. We're doing well in Pennsylvania. Now, coming up on 2820 News at 6, we hear from voters. What is important to them? What do they want to hear coming out of the Democratic National Convention? Also, you can see my entire interview with former President Donald Trump on our website, pahomepage.com. Nick and Julie, back to you. See you in a few. Thanks, Andy. 